They tell you not to judge a book by its cover, but how can you not? Visuals matter more than we'd like to admit. As much as I like reading, this isn't a book channel. I'm here to discuss design, and what I'm interested in answering is, how do you create a visually appealing design for a client who doesn't know what they want? And what do you do when you're the nightmare client? These questions have kept me up at night wondering, how am I going to launch a design brand by the end of the month? As I closed my eyes, I wondered to myself, would this be a nightmare or a dream come true? Hi, I'm Jen, and welcome back to episode three of building a design agency for the world's worst client, myself. This whole series has been following my journey of betting on myself and transforming my side job into a full-fledged business. These videos are not for me. They're for you, the person who is sitting there trying to figure out their next steps or how to scale their business, who wants to see what someone else's process is and learn from my many, many mistakes. So whether you're interested in design, business, or process videos, this is a series for you as I dive deep into everything surrounding my agency, Jaya. Be sure to leave a comment to help support this video, give it a big thumbs up, and subscribe if you haven't already. Photography and website content. From where we left off in the last episode, you have a website and social media pages. What do you put on them? Because I'm a designer and I do this for other people, I underestimated how hard this part would be. Instead of doing what I normally do, which is try to do everything alone, I hired Caitlin Davis Photography to do a combination of headshots and artistic nature business photos. But back to the website. The whole vision of what Jaya is only started coming together after piecing the content together within the site structure. This even made me revisit part of the design, the prices and packages. Pricing your Sell fairly is difficult, and sometimes the excitement of closing a deal makes you undervalue yourself. If you're feeling overworked and underpaid, the quality of your work will suffer, and that is the worst thing that you can do if you are a service-based media agency. To make sure I'm getting proper compensation, I used the tool Roam. They gave me a fair wage estimation based off of my skill level, the deliverables, and the timeline. And this helped me break down each package and set expectations for clients. They are a project management tool for designers, and you can check them out through my affiliate link in the description below. The four main packages are the brand builder, the complete package, the social media star, and creative content. And of course, businesses can ask for custom packages, but I wanted to eliminate as much decision paralysis as possible. One of the values I hold is supporting small to medium-sized businesses and allowing them to afford tools to explode their income. To bridge this gap, I'm going to create a subscription model for six or 12 months to make the monthly cost a lot more affordable. I kind of went on a price tangent there, but if you design anything well, it should be your prices and packages. Aside from the structure and visuals of the site, I used footage of me over the last few months building a brand, creating designs, working with clients to have as the banner video someone first sees when they go to my site. Socials. Having a website is one of the best tools you can have. It makes it easier for people to find you and it connects to all of your social networks. But again, you have a social media page. Now, how do you have something that has high quality content that you can keep up with and converts to business leads? The first thing you can do is pretty simple. Don't oversell to people. Instead, focus on providing education or entertainment to your audience. The second thing is use social media templates and a content calendar. These are things I do for clients to keep content organized. I'll add weekly themes, color code days. The third strategy is batch content creation. No brand just casually posts as they feel like it. Social media is demanding and competitive, so you need a bit of strategy to get ahead. I have at least one day a week where I record all of my YouTube content, take my thumbnails, draft up my reels, and plan out the entire week or month at a time. After Jaya's launch, it's something I'm going to do more intentionally to grow my brand. The fourth thing is to refine your content. Take note of what is working and what isn't. If you never reevaluate your work, you'll have no idea what is getting you sales and you're more likely to get caught up in this cycle of constant creating with no results. The style of content that I want on my brand social media is 90% educational, 
9% aspirational, and 1% entertainment. I don't even know what I would do for entertainment because I can't dance and my acting skills plateaued in my high school improv group. Merch and business cards. Digital designs are nice to look at, but things seem more real when they're a tangible item. For my own business, did I get more excited about my merch arriving than I did seeing my finished website? Was that website a thousand times more work than printing merch? Yes, but I'm a sucker for a branded hoodie or a hat. Clients are usually surprised how easy it is to get their logo printed on items. And I've had clients who've gone with custom silkscreen tote bags to stickers shipped from Amazon. If your designer has done their job well by creating three to four logo variations with a brand pattern, your options for merch are endless. I'm a big fan of Printful. I've ordered from them multiple times and their quality was always good. Do people still use business cards? I'm not sure, but I would rather have something available if somebody asks me about my business. You never know when you're going to run into a potential client. I designed very simple square cards that have Jaya Studio, the socials, and how to reach me. It does not need to be more complicated than that. So how do you create brand visuals for a nightmare client? Well, you just keep working at it and then you force yourself to do YouTube videos about your process. Past the website, the socials, and the physical items, all that's left before launching my design agency is tying up all of the loose ends. By the time you're watching this, the site will probably already be live and my Instagram marketing campaign may have already started. Jaya Studio Agency is a brand new channel, so you can hop on over to Instagram and give it a follow, as well as sign up for my monthly email newsletter in the description below, and you can also check out Rome using the link I have. Let me know in the comments what other things you would like to know about building a business, and I will be back next week with another video on the tools that I use and the launch strategy I have for Jaya's first month of operations.